English yeah. is not really your mother tongue and nor is it Korean to me so like I don't need you to be judging me. <laughs> There was this Korean podcast that I watched talking about Korean society. Yada yada yada. They covered the topic of English. Why do Koreans not speak English? So they also covered this in the podcast. They said something like. Well, one, it's it's a homogenous country. They don't really they see foreigners, but like in Seoul or Ethiopia, still very concentrated in Seoul, in pockets of Seoul, not even all throughout Seoul. Koreans know how, but they just don't want to try to speak because they don't want to sound stupid. As for the podcast, like maybe the accent, they don't have the accent down, but like we don't really care. <laughs> like we sound inauthentic when we speak Korean. Yeah. I am so confused. This looks super phallic. Don't you think? Welcome to Seoul, the Seoul vlog. We are heading to Yongdong Solongtang. We're gonna be getting Solongtang there and then we're gonna be watching Mission Impossible in Yongsan. So, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's get it. Did you put a lot of green onions? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. A mountain. A mountain. This looks so good. What the hell? Like, oh my god. Spring onion soup. <laughs> They see we're struggling, and I feel like that makes them more comfortable with speaking English and them struggling as well. So they speak English to us. Yeah, they not really in response of "Oh, you're struggling. Let me just help you out." Speak English to you, like no, it's more just like you break that barrier of discomfort. Yeah, like it's okay to struggle. Yeah. Also, like it's not your language. It's like English yeah. is not really your mother tongue, and nor is it Korean to me. So, like, I don't need you to be judging me. Nor do I need to be judging you. They would tell me they don't know how to speak English, right? And so I would try in Korean, and all of a sudden, they start speaking in English, and I'm like, what the fuck? Another thing is, there's like Yopas here who would say the American way of pronouncing things. So like, for example, let's go to McDonald's. She would say, McDonald's kaja. Like, how we would say it? McDonald's kaja. But a lot of Koreans have this like, prejudice against that. Like, why are you saying it like that? Like, say it in a Korean way. I mean, I kind of get it though. In Filipino, also. Like, what? When I mention your name as I'm speaking Tagalog, I don't say, Oh, but I'm in Francesca. Don't uh, But you like, don't have to, like, enunciate it like that, you know what I, I know, mean? I know, I'm exaggerating. It's oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. For example, you're in Starbucks and you're ordering a Frappuccino. So if I say, Hi, Ate, what is a yeah, box exactly. Frappuccino? It's not that off. It's not that off. So how am I supposed to say it's a cappuccino? It's like hamburger. It's like it's a hamburger. It's a burger. Okay, that makes sense. It makes sense. It just flows better. Yeah, just take your McDonald's example. Like say, we're, let's go to McDonald's. But the tie ng McDo. Oh. We say McDo. Yeah. But tie ng McDonald's. 
doesn't sound that bad to me, to be honest. But I'm not gonna take it away from people who are. Let's pancake house. Let's go to the pancake house, diba? Getting coffee. We're at our favorite cafe. It's called Steamers. How do you rate this cafe? What other cafe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I think I rate it a ten out of ten. Yeah, we go talk to We're gonna go get lunch. We're getting sukiyaki and apuzong. This restaurant is super popular. And a lot of people go there, so we got a reservation. I'm so excited because I'm super hungry. Ooh, Shinun. This is actually where I got the pants that I'm wearing right now. And we're heading to um, the sukiyaki place. It's called Onchon Chip. Here we go. They were just on their um, lunch break, but are you excited? I think we have to remove our shoes. We just finished our amazing lunch and now we're going on a walk because we have another reservation in like two hours. We're going to this pasta place in Hanam and then after that we're like not gonna eat for the rest of the day because oh my god I'm so full. This is fun. <laughs> this is, is it? this feels so weird. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it's like red clay or something. I had no idea that we were gonna end up doing this. So this park People are just like walking barefoot and I think this is like a mineral clay and then you wash it down there so we're doing this now but look at that I think that's what it is we just chanced upon this we didn't know that this was actually a thing this is quite fun I just finished at the nail salon and this is how my nails look like. I've never done anything like this before. They look very alien. <laughs> Actually, the nails that I even suggested was not like this. I wanted something a little lighter. She had to like manually mix this and make the color herself. So it turned out a little darker than what I wanted, but it's not that bad. Like it looks actually like it's super cool. Like this is what I wanted. And this is what it looked like. Oh, actually, it's not that different. I'm at a cafe right now waiting for Christian. I'm in Songsu area. He's currently in Gangnam, and we're gonna meet here because I want to take him to this restaurant that I really like. Mm, 
I think that's honey right there. The honey thing that he gave you this. Mm. Gave us some plates to share, even if I'm not sharing. Mm. You can have the rye bread. 